right nut and Kimmy here. We're getting back to this pinball machine finally. So I checked and the last video I posted was on December 5th of 2020 and it's currently February 13th of 2021. So it's been a, been a little bit. It's been actually been so long I couldn't remember what the hell else I needed to do. So I sat here and I made a list. So the first thing we need to do is wire the RGB buttons. We need to install the rotary encoder, which is in a box somewhere, but I got it wired. I just have to put it in probably right here somewhere. I want to do here in case I just have to put some buttons in the middle. Uh, I need to install the fan and the strobes, which I 3D printed. There's another one of these somewhere. This, so it would sit up here like this, and the strobe will attach to the front, and the fan will sit on the top, kind of angled down. You see that pointing at you? So that's good. I got that. I need to wire up the fans. So there's two there, one there, and there's one or two in the back box somewhere that don't have power yet. I need to install the plunger. Um, let's see, I need to install the amplifier and wire the speakers. So I'm not exactly sure where that's going to go, but I got the sub and the two speakers in. I need to wire those up. After we get the amp in, I need to install the surround sound, which will be the one there, one there, two back there. And then the little amps, I don't know where we're going to go, maybe right there. Or probably actually here would be a better place so I can reach through the door and adjust them if I need to. Uh, then we need to install the TV power and HDMI cables to the topper, the back box, the DMD, and the main play field here. Uh, we need to install the ground effects lights, which are just RGB LEDs that go along the bottom. I printed off these little tracks that a dude on Discord made. Pretty slick. Uh, they're a little bowed, but it shouldn't matter for this particular exercise. It's because I took them off the bed before they were cool. Just frustrating. They're not all like that, but a couple of them are. Anyway, if you can see that, it slides in there. And then it holds it straight, so you're not all wonky going through there. Um, install those. I need to install the addressable LEDs, which I printed off. Same strip. I don't remember. He made me a different one because they were too small for one of them. I can't remember which one it was. But, so this will fit in here again and hold it straight. I gotta make sure because I don't know that I have the double sided tape for this and honestly I haven't seen it so I probably did never buy it. So I need to measure that and figure out how much for all those we need. Uh, then I need to install the fuses. Figure out what size I need and that I think is it. It's a bigger list than I thought it was when I was thinking about it this week but it's actually not too bad. It won't take too terribly long to do some of these. And then we are going to disconnect everything and test it before we start plugging it in and trying to program the computer. So now that we've ranted for however long, let's get started. All right, friends, it's almost five o'clock and I'm done. Lump over there is done too. All right, so we got these on here. Look fairly good. bolted together, wired up. I had already made harnesses for them. So all I had to do is put connectors on the end. That one over there is the same. I had to tie it out of the way so it wasn't interfering with my bell. I think it looks reasonably good for what it was. I did it again. I might tilt them in just a bit, not just down towards me. All right, what else did we do? We hooked up the, there's light, the RGB on the buttons here. And over there, sorry, it's so dark. See that one goes, and I had to make a wire extender, which is what this one is. It goes all the way back here to this connector right here. There's one more space that I could add another button if I ever need to for the 
fire button. It was my intention, but I never, I've never been brave enough to drill a hole in here. Um, or put the one down here that I was thinking about. So that's good. Then I got the power to it right here. It's probably not the best way to do that, but whatever, it worked. Okay. And then we got the rotary encoder. This is another button wire that I have that I may probably not use. But I drilled a hole in the coin door. Gotta go for it. And there's the volume and mute. It's a button. I mean, you can wire it to whatever you want, but that's what it's intended is from Oak Micros there. So believe it or not, that took a very long time. So hope you enjoyed this one. Look at our list over here. We still gotta wire the fans, install the plunger, hook up the speakers, install the surround sound stuff, the power to the TVs and the course of the TVs, ground effects lights, addressable LEDs and fuses, which I should measure these, see how much tape I need so she can go get me some. All right, well, hopefully you enjoy this and we'll get back to it. Keep it real. See ya.